this is Greg Rempe, host of the Barbecue Central Radio Show. And you are listening to BCRN, all barbecue and grilling all the time. So to get that perfect barbecue, you use wood. Are you sure it's safe? Whatever. We put the lighter fluid on, strike the match, and... Should we call the fire department? That might be a good idea. Welcome to the Barbecue Central Show, the show where we talk about all things that are important in the world of barbecue. From big name interviews with competitors on the barbecue circuit, grill manufacturers and pit makers, to advice on cooking brisket and ribs, you'll find it all right here on the Barbecue Central Show. Your host, Greg Rempe, is a backyard barbecue and grilling fanatic and loves to talk about his passion, which many of us share together. You can learn more about barbecue and grilling by visiting Visiting the website, thebbqcentral.com. Now, let's get in the smoke. Here's your program host, Greg Rempe. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Barbecue Central Show. Oh yeah, this is the show that talks about all things important to the world of barbecue and grilling. We originate from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame city of Cleveland, Ohio, and is officially become the barbecue capital of the North Coast. LeBron James doesn't have to declare wherever he's going to be playing in any NBA city for whence he says he have an interest. Because why would you go anywhere else when the city has duly been named the barbecue capital of the North Coast? I'm your program host, Greg Rempe. Happy to have you aboard here this evening. And we have a great show lined up for you. Before we get into what is exactly going to be going down tonight, let me give you some contact information in case you want to jump in on the show tonight. You can do so one of two ways. You can take part with the telephone, 216. Well, why don't we? Well, let's, let's do the toll-free, uh, 877-448-0433, 877-448-0433 is a toll-free number. You can also email the show at any point if you would like, bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. And that is the email address. Those are the two ways to get in touch with the show tonight. If you want to jump in, more than happy to have you. Maybe you have a question for a guest that I will be featuring tonight. You can email that in or you can... Feel free and call in, ask yourself live questions. This is live radio. It all happens right here on the Barbecue Central Radio Show. You can find the website for more information. You want to get in touch with people that talk about it all the time, visit the forum, the bbqcentral.com. And then, of course, we have the Barbecue Central Radio Network website, the bbqcentralshow.com, where you can find my show, archives of my show, as well as um, three other podcasts that are in the barbecue and grilling realm, playing 24-7 for your streaming enjoyment. Here's what's happening on the show tonight. Coming up in about 12 minutes, we're going to be having first-time guest who will also probably turn into a recurring guest, Robin Medlin. You might know her as Grill Girl. Am I saying that right? Grill Girl. That's spelled Grill and then Girl. G triple R G R R R L. Grill Girl. And I believe the website is grillgirl.com. Robin has just recently teamed up with McCormick Seasonings along with Patio Daddyo BBQ and I believe the is it the Pit Boys barbecue folks over there on YouTube? They're very famous. Pit Boys, uh, they do a lot of grilling and barbecue stuff. Uh, so Robin will be joining us for the first time. We'll get a background on her. She's obviously a lady. So we'll see what has kind of tripped her light fantastic when it comes to outdoor live fire cooking. And maybe we'll focus it a little bit more for the ladies that are in the audience or perhaps the men out there that have female friends or acquaintances that want to get in touch with their live fire side. Here's somebody that can kind of inspire you if you're a lady and we can get it also a a different perspective. Typically a grill is looked at to be a man's domain, something or someplace where men congregate over fire with lots of amount of alcohol. Really sounds very dangerous if you ask me, but we'll get a, a female perspective about what it's like for her being a blogger, what her background is, what she likes to do. I'm sure she has a recipe up her sleeve or 10 because she's a food blogger and that's really one of the main things you need to do when your food bloggers have recipes to whip out so look for robin medlin grill girl about 14 past the hour coming up after that 34 past Derek riches we're going to reload him we missed him last week he will come on and talk about the cool things that are out there in the barbecue and grilling market and then four segment free for all obviously hosted by the probably one of the the most famous sportscasters ever of all time, Harry Carey. He was a longtime Chicago Cubs commentator, broadcaster, Hall of Famer. Many watering holes in the Windy City named after him. He has come out of death to host the four-segment free-for-all. Now I think going into the third month, and he has done a phenomenal job. I leave. I get my respite before we start the second hour. And he's done very well from uh, all accounts. 
So look for that. Your chance to win El Captain Santa Maria style seasoning. Thanks to uh, Richard Fuller out there. El Captain Bar- uh, Santa Maria style seasoning. It's fabulous. I just used it on potatoes the other night. You can use it on meat, of course, but potatoes, vegetables, you name it. It's great on everything. It's a great season all. Also, the Wood Smoke products from Greenleaf Barbecue, Cosmos Q Injection Pack. Uh, basically, you'll be choosing either a chicken soak, a pork injection, or a beef injection. You get the half pound bag, Willie. And then the Easy Hook from Marsha Fox and the good folks over at Barbecue Hooks. And you can look them up at bbqhooks.com. By the way, El Captain Seasoning, I believe it's SB Spice Company or sbspice.com. Just go ahead and Google El Captain Santa Maria style seasoning and you will get where you need to go. Order some up today. I highly recommend it. If you can't win some tonight, it's definitely worth the buy. Tonight's After Dark guest, second hour. Too big to announce right here. It's too big to announce right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's too big. Not going to tell you. All right. So what's been happening? Well, we had the 4th of July pass this weekend. People always, what did you do this weekend? Big, you know, big really weekend, big barbecue weekend. We've, as I talked to Ted Reeder last week about this particular holiday, while it is a recognition of the fact that we were finally able to fend off England and gain our independence, it has really rapidly become known and and revered as a cooking holiday where you're busting out the grills and the barbecues and lighting them up and having a great old time. I still see a lot of lighter fluid out there. I don't get it myself, but if that's what you use to light your fire, you know, petroleum distillates are cool. You're with the in crowd, man. Do it. Um, I ruined uh, three racks of ribs. It wasn't necessarily my fault. I had taken delivery of a new half cord of wood kind of an even match or split half cord of maple and oak and evidently the wood just isn't seasoned enough had a hell of a time keeping the wood on fire first of all a lot of hissing a lot of hissing which i still believe means there's some water in there so it probably wasn't seasoned as much as the gent told me it was because i told him what i was doing need to be dry he said no nope, no worries no worries you're all good so a little disappointed there took a long time to get to a very below average rack of ribs that I saved and actually finished on the grill this evening at a higher temperature to render out some of the remaining fat and to get it just a little bit more tender than uh, where it was originally on Sunday. So that was very disappointing. But see, even to somebody like me, who many would consider to be some type of barbecue and grilling expert, uh, which I'm not, bad things happen to good people, man. I mean, you buy pork with the best intentions, you get wood with the best intentions, Sometimes they just don't mix, so we'll, we'll keep trying. You know, the, the best thing about a mistake on the grill or the best thing about a mistake on the mistake, a mistake made by me is the fact you get to eat those mistakes. You can fix the mistakes and eat them, and they're tasty, and they're wonderful, and they're succulent. Sometimes I just like saying the word succulent. All right. So what did you think about the Kevin Roberts interview? Look, I thought he came off very well. Lots of reaction coming into him. A lot of people kind of not changing their mind, but willing to give him a, a second stance. He's kind of gotten the stave of execution. The governor called in and said, take off the heat on the chair. Kevin can live another day. I think he's got the personality to potentially be a very good host. But look, he came right out, right out of the shoot. Owned it. I'm not a barbecue guy. I know nothing about barbecue. And really was looking to appease and, and uh, uh, accommodate the barbecue fanaticals that we are, the, the purists at heart. So I thought he did a, a very good job. He's obviously personable. He talked very well. He had a lot of anecdotal stories, kind of told you where he was coming from when he was growing up and what he does more on a day-in, day-out basis aside from hosting uh, different shows and doing whatever he does on television. So all in all, I thought the interview went well, and at least he was able to change, not, maybe not change opinion, but at least give himself uh, some extra breathing room as the filming of Pitmasters gets underway out there in California. Hey, quick reminder, folks. Look, if you have a gas grill, quit pigeonholing yourself into the standard run-of-the-mill rotisserie. You can only do big cuts of meat on there. Why not get the Ribolator? It turns into a four-tray Ferris wheel of rotisserie wonderment only limited by your imagination folks you can do chicken on one you can do hot dogs and hamburgers on another you can do steak on another you can do ribs on another i mean it is outrageous the stuff that you can do with this as long as you have the mental wherewithal to imagine something happening on four different racks you can do it here's the pricing you can get the ribolator the motor the spit rod and if you have a kettle style ring that extender ring for 240 bucks it's super cheap 
Info at Ribolator.com is the email address, or Ribolator.com is the website to order. Do it today. It's the Ribolator. We'll come back with Robin Medlin after this. It's the Barbecue Central Radio Show on the Barbecue Central Radio Networks. Barbecue fans travel from all over the country and the world to learn the secrets of real pit barbecue from grand champion pit master Conrad Haskins. Now take your skills to the next level with a Barbecue Institute pit master class. You'll learn how to make sauces, rubs, and smoke mouth-watering barbecue every time you cook. Your new skills will impress friends and family. Internet forums, blogs, and Facebook are full of success stories from our graduates. Upcoming classes locations include Rock City Rib Fest, Rochester, New York, Lexington, Massachusetts, Lang Factory Test Kitchen in Georgia, Fort Worth, Texas, Fredericksburg, Texas, Houston, Texas, Monroe, Washington, and Kennewick, Washington. For more information, class dates, and contests we'll be competing in, visit www.bbqclass.com. That's bbqclass.com. Broadcasting live from the Barbecue Central Radio Network studios in Cleveland, Ohio. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Radio Show. Once again, here's your host, Greg Rampey. Welcome back, 14 past the hour. This portion of the show brought to you by the good folks at the Barbecue Guru, makers of automatic pit temperature control devices, not to mention a host of other products that make your barbecue and grilling life easier. Two ways to find them on the interwebs, the bbqguru.com, or you can dial them up toll free on your telephone device, 800 288 Guru. 800 288 Guru. It's the good folks over at the Barbecue Guru. Also, special mention to Jim Ferguson. That is the broadcast t shirt I am wearing tonight, the Ohio Veterans Barbecue Cook Off. Going to be running July 9th and 10th of 2010 out there in Kettering, Ohio. Buckeye brother, baby. Plus, July 10th, my birthday, so extra karma for him. Good job, Jim. Thanks for the shirt. All right, let's go ahead and race to the hotline. Joining me now, a first-time guest into the Barbecue Central Radio Show Jungle, but I'm sure it won't be the last. It is none other than Grill Girl herself, Robin Medlin. Robin, thanks for coming on tonight. How are you? I can't hear anything. He told me to hang back until I heard, you know, until he announced me, but I can't hear anything. Is that normal, do you think? Robin, can you hear me? Uh-oh. I think I know what's happening. Let me turn the headphones on. Hello? Oh. Hello? Robin. Well, Mr. Wolf, it seems we run into a little bit of grill girl issues. <laughs> Robin. Stand by. Thank you. 
we're obviously running into uh, potential technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. Let's try this again. Robin, you there? I'm here. Sorry about that. All right. What's up? <laughs> sorry. Blondes and technical equipment don't always mix. So. Hope, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you're not. Uh, you're, you're obviously a lot more adept in front of the grill than you are on the computer. Possibly. <laughs> I had my headphones plugged into the wrong place. I was trying to be technical and I just couldn't get it evidently. Hey, Sorry about that. That's all right. Well, it's great to have you once again, Robin Medlin, joining us here on the show. A Grill Girl, a.k.a. Grill Girl, and I believe the website, it's grillgirl.com, right, with the triple R, Willie? It is. Um, it confuses the heck out of everyone, but it's kind of like grr, like punk rock grr, you know, uh, with a little triple R action. <laughs> so where, uh, where, where does the name come from? What inspires the, the triple R Jones? Well, it's really not that creative. I wanted to be grillgirl.com with the regular spelling, and some girl in Canada had taken it, and I never got any response from her, so I just started the triple R grill girl, and that's uh, kind of the the unexciting version of that. But actually, I kind of liked it. I thought it was a little different, too. So Absolutely, a little bit different, and I guess, you know, first time in, I've had a handful of food bloggers on that kind of recur, and I guess, where does the the inspiration or where does your flair and desire for the outside live fire cooking come from? Did you have a dad that was, uh, or mom that was out there doing it when you were a kid, or is it something you just kind of evolved into yourself as you got older? It's kind of something that's evolved. Like my dad is a very, very good griller, but we kind of believe it or not got into it at the same time. I've always been very into the outdoors. And when I moved to South Florida, I realized that I could just grill year round. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that's December and I'm grilling. This is great. And it kind of morphed from that. I started a blog originally called something bizarre, like culinary life adventures. And then I started looking at all my recipes and it was about 75% grilling. And I was like, I'm going to change it to grill girl and just be more grill centric. So that's kind of how it morphed. Are you a lover of everything that hits the grill? Or are you more of a, a beef and, and pork person or do you like chicken seafood or is it just pretty much anything that hits the grill is something you're going to work with? You know, I think what I really like about grilling is trying the weird, you know, um, kind of different stuff on the grill. Like making, I'll do things like baking cookies and making cobbler on the grill. And, you know, sometimes I'll go to the farmer's market and just load it up all kinds of weird random stuff I can find down here in South Florida and just try it out. Sometimes it works out really well on the grill and sometimes it's, you know, you know, my fiance will be fiance will be like, don't put that on your blog. So, <laughs> but I just like getting really creative. That's really what it starts with. And it doesn't have to be meat. I like all the veggie stuff as much as I like doing meat any day. Now, I think it's important that we bring up the fact that there's probably a good random portion of the listening audience that's female or perhaps there's a, a female that's attached to somebody who's kind of a central light really into the show and the barbecue grilling maybe they want to step up and kind of get into that with their significant other or it could just be a single lady looking to get willy with the live fire so sure as a as a lady which you know it's kind of been considered to be a man's domain over these many years but more and more females are starting to get into competition barbecue they're starting to get into the grilling side of things what kind of advice do you want to offer as, you know, somebody who isn't necessarily like professional on TV, you know, big star celebrity chef, but somebody that's doing it every day? What kind of advice can you give to those people that are looking to jump in on the female side? You know, I would just do it. Um, part of the expression, just go balls to the wall. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is you screw up, you know, um, that's really kind of how I started. I mean, I've, I've burned plenty of things, you know, but it's it's really just a lot of trier, trial and error. You know, it's not always an exact science. So um, a lot of it, too, I think women can be intimidated because guys definitely do kind of that's kind of their arena is behind the grill, even if they're not as good at it as they might think they are. I think you really just have to kind of own your space and step up and say, hey, I want to learn how to do this. I want to try you know, if I burn dinner, then we'll go out afterwards, you know, and just uh, you have to be kind of almost kind of aggressive and say, I want to try this move over and let me get started. And uh, so I guess my advice would be um, just to uh, kind of own your space and say, I'm ready to try. Give me a shot. Robin Medlin joining us. You can find her at grillgirl.com. That's G triple R L dot com. <laughs> uh, any other like specific must have items that people want to look at? before they start their venture into the outdoor cooking? 
I definitely think tongs make things a lot easier. I mean, I probably bought my first set of like a three pack of tongs at Target for less than 10 bucks. And I think use tongs even inside, like to pull stuff out of the oven. You know, um, I use them for everything because it really just keeps you away from the flame so that you're not getting, you know, uh, just hot and too close to the, the, the burners. And it really kind of also helps you keep from making a mess. And you, one thing to consider when you're grilling is not to puncture the food with like a fork because then that lets all the juices out. So when you're using tongs, that kind of makes it a lot easier and it also helps keep your meat uh, a little bit more moist. And you don't care. I mean, you can start out with the adventurous stuff first. Or do you want to try easy and kind of as you build your skills, you feel more comfortable working into the more adventurous type meats and recipes? I say if you have a hankering to try something, go for it. You know, and sometimes the most adventurous stuff can be a vegetable that like an eggplant or something, you know, um, or in lieu of doing burgers, try sliders. I made I made um, in lieu of doing just your basic boring chicken breast. The other day I did um, chicken tenders and made uh, buffalo chicken sliders and mm-hmm. they were a big hit at the house here. And, you know, it definitely made it in the top 10 of make again recipes with my fiance. And that was super easy. I mean, basically all I did was marinate chicken and some hot sauce that someone sent me and stuck it on the grill for like five minutes. And, and I put it on top of some, um, like rolls, you know, and, and threw some blue cheese and arugula and I had uh, buffalo sliders. So it doesn't have to be difficult. I think the main thing you have to think of is just, um, you know, if you see a recipe you want to try and you want to try grilling, think of how you can kind of convert it into a grilling friendly recipe. Robin Medlin joining us here on the show. You also just started a relationship with McCormick Seasonings. Uh, and I know they kind of picked out two or three different food bloggers or web personalities to help them get the stuff out. How did that relationship come about and how much does that mean to you as a, a food blogger kind of making it? It's been very cool because McCormick's is definitely a household name and um, they found me, which was nice. And they, they basically just approached me and said, would you be interested in doing some uh, social media stuff for us? And I said, absolutely. And it's been kind of nice because I think, um, you know, I'm the only female out of the other two bloggers. And if you look at the videos I've done, they've definitely been a little bit different than the other two people. Theirs have been more, um, I'd say, instructional and mine have been more like, you know, here's a quick, easy weeknight meal, and then you can turn it into a party this way, you know, which is definitely how my my fish taco recipe turned into, um, you know, here's a fun thing to do when you have people over in lieu of doing burgers to uh, build your own fish taco night, you know, so um, if you check out the video, you'll see that I, I think I got pretty creative, and I've had a lot of fun with it, and it's also really kind of helped me to force myself to be a better um, multimedia blogger because, you know, it's very easy to take great, try to take pictures and Photoshop them. And, you know, I can, I can make a draft of my blog posts and do research on what I write about, but video really takes a lot of um, effort. Actually, I was working on a video tonight and it's, it's, it's definitely an art. So (laughs) it's a work in progress. Yeah. Production (laughs) is always like the most time consuming uh, at the end. So uh, while I have you, since you're a, since you're a food blogger and you're with the recipes, how about that fish taco recipe? If you don't mind the last couple minutes. Absolutely. It's super easy. So I, you know, this actually on Facebook, a lot of people said this made it to their short list of, uh, you know, things they throw on the grill. So how it starts is just get like a white fish. You know, I'm in South Florida, so fish is pretty easy for me to find, but I think like a tilapia, maybe even like a mahi mahi, but just, just a white fish, um, whatever you have in your local market, get that, get it filleted. So you don't have any bones, get like good four or five pieces, nothing too thick. Cause you want it to be able to grill pretty quickly. And, um, what I used was just the McCormick's Mexican Fiesta marinade, which is basically kind of like a taco seasoning or like a fajita type seasoning. Um, try not to use too much. It can get a little salty, but you know, and all I did was just put that on the fish with the, you know, the marinade consists of an, a vinegar and oil, which I used olive oil. Mm-hmm. And what's nice is that it does have oil in it, which coating fish is very important because you don't want it to stick to the grill. I, I preheated the grill, got it to about 350. So I was had it on medium direct heat and I used a grill pan that was well oiled. And that's very important because you stick a uh, fish is definitely something that sticks very easily. And I think that's where people get very intimidated, but believe it or not, it's very easy. And the, the fish cook so quickly on the grill. I mean, you max out at six minutes on the grill and you're good to go. And while you're grilling the fish, um, throw your tortillas on the top burner or on the side burner. If you're doing like charcoal and you do some indirect heat, mm-hmm. let those heat up, throw it with your favorite veggies, throw it with some cilantro, 
tomatoes, some pepper jack cheese, or even like a, a spicy coleslaw. And there you have it. It's quick and easy, and everybody loves it. Yeah, it sounds, you know, definitely a little bit more uh, entertaining than regular burgers and perhaps a little bit more refreshing than the, the heavy burger as well. Again, we're talking with Robin Medlin. He, you can find her at uh, grillgirl.com, G-R-R-R-L.com. Uh, one last question before I let you go, Robin. This was actually coming in from a listener of the show. Chris wants to know that you were down at the Memphis and May uh, barbecue competition this year. So after uh-huh. after seeing that whole deal go down and what it's all about, any competitive juices get flowing where it's something you might want to take part in an event yourself at some point? You know, my dad is really hardcore in the barbecue, and he's a very technical person. I'm I'm really kind of more of a uh, I like to get creative and, and hope it turns out, and and you you know seventy five percent of the time it does. But he really that was kind of our father daughter bonding experience, and he wants to go back and enter patio porkers. So if we could get a spot and maybe figure out a way to ship a bunch of grills over there and, uh, you know, then I would be all about it. I think it would be it was a great experience. And that really is the big time. I mean, if we get a spot there. I think even if just competing, we really we would learn a lot. So I think that's on the horizon for sure. Awesome. Well, this is Robin Medlin. First time in, but definitely won't be the last time. And again, the website is grillgirl.com, G-R-R-R-L.com. And you can kind of keep up with her, Robin. I appreciate you coming on tonight, sharing those recipes and kind of getting the lowdown. So now we're ready to go for next month. And I look forward to that. Hey, thanks for having me. It was a blast. And I look forward to chatting with you guys in the future. All right. Thanks, Robin. Thanks again. There she is. South Florida. Grill Girl, Robin Medlin. G-R-R-R-L, grillgirl.com is her website. Lots of great recipes out there. So we got the John Dawson, we got the Robin Medlin, we got the Ted Reader, we got my mom's. You name it, we got it. All right, we're going to come back and reload Derek Riches from last week's Bomb Out. He's going to bring it strong. Trampy and you right here on the Barbecue Central Show. Forget going from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at fredsmusicandbarbecue.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big-name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries all the parts and accessories for the Big Green Egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Fred's is the pellet grill superstore with grills in stock from Traeger, Green Mountain, and Country Smokers from Louisiana Grills. Fred also carries smokers from Cook Shack, Bradley, and Weber as well, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new smoker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue or grilling experience a success. Fred is also the creator and distributor of Tasty Licks barbecue products, including their great line of rubs, spices, and sauces. you got to try them. You can also get your hands on a full lineup of marinades, accessories, lump charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tools from Stephen Reichlin of Barbecue You Fame. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful Shillington, PA. Get in the smoke. Call 877-448-0433 to get on the air. Now, here's your host, Greg Rampey. Welcome back. 34 past this portion of the show brought to you by the good folks over at Yoder's Smoky Mountain Barbecue. They are the leading online distributor of Meadow Creek barbecue equipment. Their barbecue smokers, pig roasters, chicken cookers, and grills are handcrafted in the Amish country of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and their goal is to give you outstanding value for the price, help you enjoy easy and profitable barbecues for years to come. Also carrying a complete wonderful line of rubs and sauces. Check them out, Serious BBQs, that's plural, SeriousBBQs.com. Good folks over at Yoder's Smoky Mountain Barbecue. Support the uh, support the people that support the show, for crying out loud. Want to look at an awesome cooker? Look at the guru, look at... Yoder's Smoky Mountain Barbecue, all that great stuff. Support the sponsors. They support me. They support you. Blah, blah, blah. Let's race over to the hotline. Let's cross our fingers and pray hard that our good friend and monthly contributor, Derek Riches, is on the line. Derek, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, baby. Derek joining us. Derek, how are you, buddy? Good. I was really tempted to just go silent for a minute. Oh, I knew. I, I figured you'd have something up your sleep, man. All right. So uh, we missed you last week, uh, but that happens from time. I mean, you know, as many times as you've been on the guest, it's the first time you've fallen out. So, I mean, that could hardly be uh, har- hardly be anything but just so happens. And we, we, let, that, we, we let one go, Derek. That's all I got to say. Okay. So my one shot, uh, it's used up. I happened it once, and we just let it happen once. So you're good. And now you have to show up from here on out forever and ever. That's it. You're off the show. 
Okay. Right. No, no I pressure. Understand the rules. No pressure. All right. So we have you on because you are a man that gets to review a lot of great stuff. You get to see, you hear on the inside what's coming out. So, you know, with discretionary income at a premium these days, given this tough economic time, we want to know that somebody out there is an expert and can help us kind of steer us in the right direction. We have some products here tonight that we're going to be talking about. And the first one on the plate is the Charbroil's new Patio Bistro Electric Grill. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a replacement to, uh, you know, what was their popular patio caddy grill. Um, and basically, you know, the, the simple truth is that they've kind of cut back on the materials a little bit to keep the price around the same range. Now, is it just me or does Charbroil have like a lot of great ideas, but when it right comes or when it comes right down to the nuts and bolts and the overall quality of the Charbroil products, it just seems to miss the mark overall. Yeah, you know, there seems to be a, uh, like a real problem with them. You know, they come up with these these things and, you know, they design them out. And then when it gets put together, it gets rushed out to market too quick. They don't do enough testing with it, I think. And, uh, you know, there just ends up being some limitations to it. So as far as the infrared portion of this uh, bistro grill is concerned, there are the infrared cookers, for instance, like a tech or perhaps some of the, the, the lower models, like a, a Gen Air that you would find at a Lowe's, and it looks like a, like a cement block, if you will, for lack of a better description. And then you look at the Charbroil infrared grills, and you have like this uh, uh, concave-shaped metal with a burner that's underneath it. Is that technically infrared, or how does that actually separate out between those two, like a tech and, and what a Charbroil offers? Well, technically it is infrared. I mean, you're you know, radiating heat at the food you're cooking. You're not using hot air that's, you know, from, you know, when you've got gas or charcoal, that's heating the air and that creates convection. This is just pure radiated energy at the food. Um, the thing of it is, is to call this electric grill infrared is uh, just plain dumb. Any infrared, any electric grill is just infrared. I mean, it's all it can work on. So, but they like that name. They love the infrared. That's yeah. that's their brand now. Marketing gimmick almost. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so we'll move on. Uh, is it a, is it a pass for you? I mean, is it worth worth the money for a for a season? If look, if if you live in an apartment or condo or something where you cannot have gas or charcoal and you have to have an electric grill, this is you know it's 180 bucks. It's fairly reasonable. You keep it out of the elements a little bit. I think it'll last you a while. So, you know, there aren't a lot of options there, and, and this one isn't a bad one. But if you don't have to, I wouldn't. All right, and that's the Charbroil's uh, Patio Bistro Electric Grill, and we move on. And it seems that the wood pellet manufacturers are coming out of the, uh, pardon the pun, coming out of the woodwork. And we have another pellet grill for you to talk about tonight, which is the Woodmaster Pellet Grill. And this is actually one that I haven't heard of prior to you uh, submitting me this uh, list of talking points tonight. Uh, yeah, this is another one from an actual pellet stove maker, and they've decided they, they've got the know-how and they got the equipment. Why not put together a grill? Um, they actually kind of seem to have approached this one a little bit differently. Um, it's actually a round, almost kettle-style unit. Uh, pellets go in the back, so it's kind of, kind of an oval shape to it with a couple of little side tables. Uh, and it's a, it's a lot more simple design, really. Uh, so that's one of the things I actually like about it is it doesn't have a lot of the high tech stuff that goes with a lot of the pellet grills and drive up their prices. Do you think this is something that would be comparable to that aftermarket product? And I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but I had the guy that made them. It's called the Stoven Oven, and it kind of converted your Weber kettle into a, a pellet pooper, if you will. Um, you know, in a way, I guess there, there are certainly some similarities there, but you know, that is an aftermarket has you know a very different approach to you know this unit um as well as the fact that there's a good price difference here uh, this one's running about twelve to fourteen hundred dollars depending upon whether you get the the plain uh powder coated steel or you get the stainless all right so for that price point and given all the other uh, features or features that it doesn't have compared to some of the other models out there at this price point worth a buy worth a look if you're looking into pellet cookers what do you think well, you know, if you're comparing it with with a lot of the others that have come out um, recently, you got the Mac, and then you got the Memphis uh, that we've talked about. Um, this was considerably less expensive. Um, so, you know, you want a pellet cooker. Uh, I, I certainly think this is one that you can look at. Uh, one of the one of the features that they have with this one, if you get the powder coated version, you can get a custom wrap to go around it. 
uh, whatever logo you want with it, corporate stuff, or you know, you could get the, you know, Barbecue Central logo just put right on the wrap on it. Oh, I love that. I got to get one. <laughs> I'm going to hit that website up and demand a free one due to my uh, lack of, well, I mean, my huge uh, amount of power here in the industry. That's the uh, Woodmaster Pellet Grill. Um, one quick follow up question to that, Derek. For the people that are looking at pellet cookers, is it kind of like most everything else within the industry? You're getting what you're paying for. If you're paying the premium price for a Mac or for a Louisiana, it's going to have a lot more bells and whistles and potential quality with that. Whereas something a little bit on the lower end isn't. You're not going to get that. Obviously, the same bells and whistles. But is the longevity going to be there as well? You know, from the look of this one, from what you know, what I've seen with it versus the other ones. I would say quality-wise, it, it, it's very comparable, but it doesn't have, you know, like you say, it doesn't have a lot of the extras with it. It is a much more basic grill. All right, so that's the Woodmaster Pellet Grill uh, for people that are looking at the pellet-type cookers. It's certainly another one to add to the list to check out. And then lastly, we have the Holland Grill Apex. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, you know, Holland, had the, Holland Grill's been around now about 20, 25 years now just kind of a legend in the old school um, gas grill world. Uh, very unique design. There's just a single little burner down in the bottom. Uh, on this one, it pumps out about 13,000 BTU. And there's a metal plate separating the cooking chamber from where the burner is. So there's no open flame. In essence, this is an infrared grill. Oh, I was just going to ask you that. How about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Know. Pretty amazing. There you go got to wonder where Charbro might have gotten that idea from. No. Um, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't. The other thing about this one is it's on or it's off. There's no temperature adjustment to it. Oh. You can't turn it up. You can't turn it down. It just runs at the temperature it runs at. Which is what? Uh, uh, under normal conditions, it runs at about 400 degrees. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, pretty cold for a gas grill. You're not going to get high intensity searing. Uh, you have to cook very differently on this one. Uh, so with the Holland grill, you have devoted followers who love them. I mean, they last forever. And then you have people who bought one and they can't stand it and they can't give it away fast enough because they just don't get the way it cooks. It is a very different product. Um, but the advantage is <clears throat> you can put water in it. So you can turn it into a steamer. Um, because of the way it's designed, it works great as a con you know as a radiant convection oven. Uh, you can put wood chips in there; it produces a pretty good smoke quality, actually. So, uh, if you put the water in, that actually will drop down the the running temperature mm -hmm. to about two seventy five three hundred degrees. So, not exactly low and slow barbecue, but you know you can really do a lot you know, in that range. And, you know, I know a lot of people on the barbecue circuit, they're cooking at 350 degrees nowadays. Oh, yeah, that seems to be all the rage, uh, cooking a little bit hotter, a little bit faster. Uh, what kind of a price point is on the Holland Apex? Um, oh, that was a really good question there. I was supposed to know that one right off the top of my head. Perhaps it sells <laughs> it's a, uh, under it's, a thousand? It's running about $1,200 for okay. this one. This is the, the deluxe version of what they have. Uh, they have uh, other products selling down to around seven hundred dollars. So, given the fact that you don't have the overall temperature control, but you do have the ability to do other stuff with it, in your personal opinion, something that somebody would want to take a look at, knowing what we know now going in, or maybe still more niche than anything. Well, I think it'll always be something of a niche product. If you're just interested in burgers and steaks. Uh, this is not really the grill for you. If you like to do whole whole chickens, you like to do put a big pork roast on there once in a while, want to do your turkey out there, this is actually a really good cooker for those sort of foods. All right, and that's the Holland Grill Apex, and you can find them at hollandgrill.com. And once again, this is Derek Riches. You can find his blog, bbq.about.com. You can follow him on Twitter at, uh, at about underscore bbq. And as always, Derek, I appreciate the time this month, and we will look for you again in August. Okay, and I will promise I will be here. <laughs> All right, Derek, thanks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. There he is, MrAbout.com. BBQ.About.com is his website again, or Twitter, at About underscore BBQ. All right, it's your time to win. Four segment free for all coming up. Dial toll free 877 448 0433. We're going to dig up Harry Carey and go from here. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Radio Show on the Barbecue Central Radio Networks.
Centralites, you having marriage troubles? Your kids unruly and don't listen? Then you need the Ribellator because great barbecue will always bring the family together. And the Ribellator always cooks great award-winning barbecue. You can try it free for 30 days. And if your family life doesn't improve, just send it back. Ribellator even pays return shipping. But you need to take that first step. Visit ribellator.com to get started or call 206-999-0962. Don't you deserve a happy barbecue family? Introducing Cosmos Q. Cosmos injections and marinades use only the finest ingredients, and they mix easily, never clotting or caking. From our beef injection to our pork injection, you're guaranteed to wow your friends, family, and judges. And don't forget to check out our newest marinade, Cosmos Chicken Soak, for that moist and tender chicken you're going to love. You can find all of Cosmos award-winning products at CosmosQ.com. Cosmos Q, the new generation. Taste the difference. Big name interviews, advice on cooking brisket and ribs, and the only host willing to share his honest opinion on all things important in the world of barbecue. It's the Barbecue Central Show. Welcome back. 50 minutes past the hour, 10 minutes till the hour of 10 o'clock. This portion of the show brought to you by D-Dogs Barbecue Rubs. Did you know they're offering free shipping right now on all orders? Go over to the website, ddogsbbq.com. Also offering two new products, a Texas-style barbecue sauce and a jalapeno rib glaze. And did I mention, every offer right now, every order that you get right now gets free shipping. What could be better than that? Nothing. Nothing could be better than that. That's because it's great. It's wonderful. And it's ddogsbbq.com's website. As we all right now, okay, as we all know right now, D-Dog's Barbecue Rub is better than ketchup. 877-448-0433. 877-448-0433 is the number to call in to play the fourth segment free-for-all. Let's wind it up, folks. Everybody, Harry Carey here. Hey! What? What's going on over here? All right, welcome to the game tonight. We've got the Cubs taking on the Cincinnati Reds out here in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Ca- what? What, Stoney? I'm sorry. I must be a bit confused. Welcome to the fourth segment free for all. Okay, sorry. I've been in heaven tonight. You would never believe. Okay, let's go right to the phones and see who's on the line. Barbecue Central Radio Show. This is the fourth segment free for all with Harry Carey. Who's this? This is Brian Dodd. Hey, Brian. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. Thanks, Harry. All right, Brian. You want to play the game? Yeah, why not? Well, I don't know. Why not? Okay, let's play. Brian, you want barbecue questions or not barbecue questions? I'll play barbecue questions. All right, Brian, you know how to play the game? Yes, they do. All right, I'm going to ask you three questions. You have five seconds to answer each question. And if you get all three, you get a chance to win a fun and succulent prize for free. Here we go. Question number one. Brian, name my first guest tonight. Ugh, I blew it. Oh, Brian. Oh, no. Perhaps you should know who my first segment guest tonight was. If you're going to call it in the fourth segment free for all, Brian. Just a word to the wires. Of course, we all know that was Robin Medlin. So I was told, I mean, I wasn't here, of course. I was in the green room exercising my right because I'm older than 21 to have a few adult libations, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about, a few adult libations. <laughs> you know, I can't expect to be out all the time. I need to loosen up a little bit. Sometimes I just need to loosen up. I'm under a lot of stress lately. Haven't you seen me for crying out loud? Oh my. Okay, so here's the number to call if you want to jump in tonight for your chance to win free stuff. 
448-0433 is the number to call. Here's what we have on the, the uh, gift list. I almost said guest list. What is this, the Emmys over here? Are we going to have a red carpet? Is Miley Cyrus coming into town? That Miley Cyrus, she's something. Okay. You can win El Captain seasoning, Santa Maria style barbecue seasoning. It's fabulous, I've heard. Also, barbecue hook from, uh, or I'm sorry, it's an easy hook from barbecue hooks. That's a fascinating implement. I once used a barbecue hook to get out of a sticky situation, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. You can't make me talk about it if I don't want to. All right, let's go to the phone. Area code 218. This is the fourth segment free for all with Harry Carey. Who's this? Mark. Hey, Mark, how are you? Great. All right, Mark, are you ready to play the game? You bet. All right, Mark, do you want questions that are barbecue related or not barbecue related? Barbecue. Okay, Mark, here we go. Question number one. Name my first guest today. Robin Medlin. That's right. Grill girl. Grill girl. That's right. Okay, Mark. Second question. Mark, who is my second guest yes. today? Derek Riches. That's right. Derek Riches from About.com. I don't mean my guest when I say that. I mean Greg's guest. I mean, you know what I mean, Mark. You're a smart guy. You can figure it out yourself. Okay, Mark. Third question for your chance to win a prize. Uh, this could You could win a prize with this question. Mark, are you excited? You bet. I know I am. Okay, Mark, here we go. Name the best-selling charcoal on the planet. Kingsford. That's right. Kingsford is. Whether you like it or not, Mark, it is. Kingsford's the leading charcoal manufacturer in the world. Maybe even the universe, Mark. Okay, Mark, what would you like? We have an easy hook. We have El Captain Santa Maria-style seasoning. And we also have... Uh, I forget. What is it? The... Uh, well, you know what it is. Cosmo's Q injection pack. Go ahead. I'll take the easy hook. Easy hook. Okay, now, Mark, I must tell you, it's very sharp. You could really run yourself through if you're not careful. So uh, please take it with the utmost care, my friend, and email me your shipping info, bbqcentralradio, gmail.com. Well, thank you. Eric. All right. Thanks for calling in tonight, Mark. Beat it. I don't know what it is. I just love giving stuff away. It's like me and giving stuff away. It's like the old days when I used to call Cubs game with Steve Stone. That guy used to keep me on the straight and narrow. I love that guy, Stoney. Well, I think he's still with us, actually. You can probably look it up in the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Who was the best color commentator? Yeah. All right, we go to the phones. Area code 941. David, where you're calling from? Uh, yes, it's Katie from Sarasota, Florida. Hey, Katie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm still good, thanks. All right, thank you. All right, Katie, do you want to play the game? I'm so ready. Uh, Katie, barbecue questions are not barbecue questions. Not barbecue questions. <laughs> not barbecue questions. Uh -oh. I don't have any not barbecue questions tonight. Nobody was ever do. I'm just kidding. All right, first oh, question. Well, then I win. Here we go. First question, not barbecue related. Okay. Name the National Basketball Association team that won the championship this year. That would be the Lakers. That's right, the Lakers. Ooh. Second question, Katie. Here is okay. your second. Here's your second question. Name a reality TV show that is on air right now. That would be. Just name one. Uh, big, big Brother. That's right, Big Brother. That's my favorite one. Yeah. I'm not going to go in to tell you why it is, but it is. Okay, third question for your chance to win a prize. Katie, are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, I know I am. Okay, yeah, Katie, you are. not barbecue-related question. Out of all the radio talk show hosts and the favorite of the planet Earth, aside from me, who's your favorite radio talk show host? That will be Greg Rempy at the Barbecue Central Show. Hey, that's right. Well, that guy's kind of an ego maniac. Wrote himself down. That's the right answer. I don't get him. Okay, that's <laughs> nonetheless, Katie. I can't do anything about it. Uh, uh, what would you like? We have an easy hook or we have some Cosmos cue? Um, I want the easy hook. I'm sorry, we don't have easy hook. I didn't beat him. Mark just won that. Oh. I'm sorry, we have Cosmos cue or we have the L Captain seasoning. Highly recommended. Oh, yeah, I want that seasoning. 
Yeah. All right, send me, your, uh, send me your shipping info, Katie, and then we'll get it down to you. BBQ Central Radio, gmail.com. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Bye. thanks for calling in tonight. Beat it. And I think that's going to do it for me tonight. I want to thank everybody for calling in the fourth segment free for all. I'm going to go retire to the green room and have a few more libations if you don't mind. Thanks for joining in tonight. I appreciate it. Well, he was Harry Carey, Hall of Fame broadcaster. Harry, how many how many winners? Harry, Harry, Harry. I'm telling you, for a dead guy, that guy moves like grease lightning. How many winners tonight? Two. Two winners tonight. As I review my sheet of paper, it looks like a Mark and a Katie. Oh, a lady, uh, lady winning. All right. How about that? All right, we're going to uh, wrap up the first hour. We're going to do news here in just a minute, and we'll come back with a After Dark segment. It's the second hour of the show. Maybe you've heard of it. Thanks to my second segment guest, Robin Medlin, grillgirl, G-R-R-R-L.com. What? Outrageous. I will not be upstaged by uh, by this thing. Why? This is all ruined now. My outro was ruined. Anyway. Uh, oh, I see what happened there. Anyway, thanks to uh, Robin Medlin, Grill Girl, G-R-R-R-L.com is her website. Also, thanks to Derek Riches from BBQ.about.com. Also, you can follow him on the Twitter at about underscore BBQ. That's his, uh, that's his website. All right. We'll uh, do news right now. We'll come back with the second hour. After Dark, Barbecue Central radio show. Stick around. We will be right back. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tall Boy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoked cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. The BarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a three-bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at thebarbecueguru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. 